Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. Um, we're in Ohio still. This is day three and today we took a break from the antique extravaganza because 86 degrees on concrete it's not a pleasant feeling to be truthful with you. So today we are with Misty from Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter, Jeffrey and Barb from Real Nifty Vintage, and of course Laura and Mary Beth from Fat Bird Finds. We are at an insanely large antique mall. It's like 120,000 plus square feet. That's the entrance. You know what? Let me go out. So there's one part, obviously the entrance, and then I'm gonna go over here. And apparently there's like all of these like fingers that go off the back. So let's get in here. Heart of Ohio, let's find out. So here we are going in, you know, and it's gonna... Overmatched. The wagons are, the wagons are buddies. <laughs> Pretty insane. We're getting wagons. Impressive. We're all picking different aisles. Look, Heart of Ohio said no limit, buy as much as you like. Amen. No wagon. So, is it all case? Oh, so the cases. I'm filming Michael. And there's Misty filming. <laughs> so the center is cases, and the off sides are vendor booths. I have a feeling this is going to be more than one video. Ooh. All right, let's check it out. Ooh, it's fancy in here. We definitely, ooh, I'm seeing some Galil. So we have some cameo glass here. Um, okay, so they are calling it French. Judging by the thickness of the glass, it does look like it's actually probably gonna be, this is really popular to reproduce in Czechoslovakia. Hmm. Interesting. I see that ring. Do you see? Oh wait, sorry guys. See it right there? I'm interested. It's an 11. All right, you guys, so it is a little narrow in here. So I'm gonna try not to knock anything over. There's some beautiful high-end items in here. Oh, look at the nymph vase up here. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. The left end. I love the left end ones. I, you know what? I do too. Oh my gosh, look at the the glowing Gertie. <gasps> look, there's a um, Miss Dainty in figural form. This cat right here? Yes. Okay. So yeah, left end, if you didn't know, did their yeah, own kind of figural anthropomorphic right. in answer to yes. okay. Holt okay. Howard. Do you have a bin tag? Mm. I have a pickup in building seven. Ooh. I mean, right now. Sixty-five. I mean, mm -hmm. you know what? I am. I'm gonna do. All right. So I went back and got the ring, and that is, of course, for me. So we're just gonna kind of peruse here, see if we can't find anything else. More ideally for resale, Michael. I don't know. So yeah, again, the, the cases seem to be in the middle here. And then on, I'm blocking people. On this side, we have the open vendor booths. I, oh, look at all the salt and pepper shakers. Look at the pickles. Look at the teapot people I up know, here. And look at the little knotter elephants. Mm. 
fun. Oh, look at the rhinestone eye eggs. Yeah, and the little pixies with the dice. <gasps> wow. And the little coconut people down there. Impressive. There's those. Um, the T and. Mm -hmm, F and T. This looks a little. Oh, look, Michael. Pricey. Look, Michael. Tea bag holders. Mmm. <laughs> This is, but this one will hold your cooking spoon. I'll hold the spoon. I'll hold your cooking spoon for $45. Hmm. That doesn't sound as much fun. No. Oh, look at the little Lucite thermometers over in there. Where? Right behind, in front of you. Oh, wow. Those are cute. Okay, guys, we're going to do a little bit of a voiceover throughout the video just to kind of compensate uh, for the music that was playing. But what I was pointing out there was some great atomic wear. There was just so much to see. It was hard to, I felt very distracted. It was like everywhere you looked, you were seeing something and you were ooing and awing. Uh, Missy is pointing out this great figural candy jar. He has got quite the expression on his face. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's often how I feel most days. Um, you know, Misty is, she has got an eye for the flawed. Um, you know, she can look past it. And what she's pointing out here is that, you know, on the lid, it obviously is missing its pull. But what she was more specifically talking about is how adorable would it look as a planter? And you could have the plant, you know, be his hair. And I think that is so super cute. And then she did discover that he did, in fact, have a, a substantial chip on his ear there are some things that you just can't compensate for and then i did see these little sugared creatures we were kind of debating as to what they were um and the, you know the vendor has them marked as lambs um i'm gonna call this more sugaring than spaghetti they were cute they just weren't cute enough i said it yes i did so out of the corner of my eye then i do see these spaghetti dogs and look at the expression on his face he's got a little ladybug there on the top um interestingly enough barb from winking owl antiques had found this uh, at the ohio extravaganza now this one was priced at well both of them were priced at 20 which was very fair and i did see these boudoir lamps with the puro um of course misty was triggered clown and i'm like no that's not a clown that's a mime I was disappointed they were in pink. If they were in like a blue or a green, I probably would have picked them up. And I'm not going to lie. I probably would have kept them for myself. Yes, I would have. Again, a lot of stuff to see. It, it was hard to stay focused. Uh, as example, I mean, all of these cases were just filled. And it did take quite some time to kind of get through. There was even stuff that was on top that I was missing. And I was like, uh, try to focus. It was intense, you guys. This is definitely the largest antique mall that I have ever been in. Um, and it was a great experience to be there with some great people. It, it just made it that much more fun. Not really seeing anything overly special here. So I'm going to end the voiceover here and we're going to get back to live, but we'll come back with a voiceover. Okay, I lied. Upon like the fourth fifth hearing of this i can still hear this music so the <laughs> i was entranced with this table lamp it obviously is in a art nouveau style with the porpoise there in the middle it's priced at 280 which is very fair it is a solid brass lamp i was debating whether or not the shades were actually original to the piece um, the glass is a little thick. A lot of times you will find that the, the, the lampshades and glass are very thin in this time period. What is original is the electrical cord, which, you know, I would probably replace, but you know, live your life. You're into that electrical shock thing. I mean, Hey, I'm not going to judge it. I'm not going to judge it out loud. How about that? How about that? So I absolutely love this. This would have been a beast because again, it is solid brass to ship. I was very tempted to keep it. Unfortunately, I don't have a spare place to put another lamp. I mean, you can always figure out a place, you know, <laughs> and right below it, I am seeing a Royal Bayruth piece. Um, obviously, this is a devil. 
This is a card table set. This was the creamer. Um, these are very hard to find, and it was priced accordingly at 180 which is, in fact, you guys, the going rate for this piece. So it was a pleasure to see in real life. All right, I'll end it now here for real. All right, so we've got a lot of glass, a lot of figurines. Oh, look at these. Let's get down here. Look at that beautiful Amazon. We're right by a fan. Beautiful color. And of course, one of my personal favorites, the Florence Ceramics. Uh, in the back, Vivian here in pink. She's extraordinarily hard to find, particularly with the umbrella intact. You can see how fragile uh, the handle is. The umbrella itself is attached to the head, but the umbrella itself, the handle, very hard to find, again, intact. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you the whole Howard. These are um, candlestick holders. These, this piece in the front is actually a candle hugger, which is extraordinarily hard to find. It seems that it only has one, which even finding one, it's 35 for the set with the hugger. Uh, with the box. Ah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Why not? Yes, I was very disappointed by those whole Howard. Truth be told, it was a week later that I discovered it. <laughs> uh, here I did find this great little Art Nouveau bust. These were very popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s. It was not marked. Obviously, it is it is a woman coming out or is a, is it, were we going to call it an orchid? It's a flower. She is safely coming out of a flower. So that I, that we can be sure of. This vendor had so much to look at and to see. Look at these shelves. Just filled to the brim with all of the goodies. Really wasn't seeing a whole lot until I spotted down below this beautiful painted. It's, you know, I don't know. This one, it's, it's kind of fooling me. I am not familiar with the maker, but... I did leave this one behind because I'm not quite sure. Look at Shake with Merlin. Expert on everything, royal, world famous, loving. That's awesome. Mm, strength of personality. This owl hanging lamp, I'm going to call this mid-century for sure. Look at the, oh look. He's very happy. Bless him. So it is ceramic. Owl pendant lamp 275. Well, we'll leave him there for somebody else to come along. Look at the little aqua glass owl. Let's see. Is he going to do it? Is Michael about to find his first piece? Woo! I got to get in the pocket, guys. No. 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 But there's a Viking bird. Let's see. Sixty-five. Dang it! Oh, but look at that. Look at that blue neek, of course. Pretty. But we're gonna have to leave that there. Close, but no cigar. Eighteen. Ooh. You know what? He might not be uranium, but I don't know. Remnants. Hmm. I bet he would catch the color, the light, really well. Hmm. I don't know on this one. Look at that green opaline. Ooh, they're calling it jadeite. I don't know. Well, uh, Fenton Dolphin. I've never seen this piece before. It's reading more opal. Well, no, I guess in the camera, now that I'm looking at it, it is reading more jadeite. In real life, perhaps it's the uplight. It's reading more opaline, but it's beautiful. 
I don't know if you guys can hear it. This is not a voiceover, but can you hear the crickets? Even without a voiceover, I'm getting crickets in the videos. Yeah. There's a paper mache. How much is he? Look at the black can the black cat candles, twelve. That's not bad. Oh look at the the witches. 22. I just bought her. I'm selling her this. Oh, there's a cat paw. I'm selling her on when on Tuesday. On Tuesday, guy. Well, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it'll be sold by the time Hi, this video man. comes out. Look but at the noise maker down there. <gasps> down there, look. <gasps> that An original bistel. I. That's the only one that I kept from the, of the ones that I found in the bins. Those are Murano. Mm -hmm. There should be three. See that sound? Yeah. That I did. You love the art glass. in that. Christmas time with a candle in that, mm -hmm. how beautiful that would be. $38, $32. Oh, that's not bad. Hours. No. Oh, look at that fortune teller postcard. Oh, that's cool. She's 24. Dang it. I thought it said four. four. I do, I like, right? Sold. Okay, so we have only made it down one aisle, and I'm already at 15 minutes of footage. There's like 10 aisles to go down, so we're going to do more than one video. So I'm just going to warn you now here on the first one. Um, I'm probably going to rather than give you full on tours as to what I've been doing up to this point because I could probably take a month's worth of videos here because we're only doing three a week. Um, so I'm going to really kind of start to switch over to really spotlighting and if I see some beautiful displays, I'm, of course I'm going to highlight those for you guys but I think we're going to have to keep it moving a little bit faster so here we go. Alrighty guys, what I'm about to point at is, I don't know if you can see it there to the right hand side, but I'm seeing Christmas, folks. That's right. I was trying not to get too excited. There we go. Now we can see it better. You see the Christmas tree up there. You just never know. I try not to get too carried away um, with my excitement. You know, ex expectations, there are resentments waiting to happen, folks. So um, it's a lot of newer stuff. However, I did see the color wheel here that, you know, you would focus on your aluminum tree. At $80, that is a fantastic deal. There are so difficult to find, especially in that kind of a condition. Now you would think looking at the booth, oh my gosh, we're, we hit the jackpot. Um, you know, this stuff was cute. There were some okay items. A lot of it was, was newer. Um, and when I say newer, I'm talking like eighties to today. And there is nothing wrong with that, especially those pieces that do have a vintage flair or a vintage look to them. Um, but I'm really looking for the true vintage or antique Christmas um, you know, and it, it is what it is. It's always fun. You never know until you look. Now, this little red flocked, very stylized reindeer, you know, he's priced at $7, which for a collector is an amazing deal. Do I think that there was room left for resale? Yeah, I do. Um, but again, it, I was really trying to be very selective of the items that I was purchasing because I'm really trying to maximize the time here in Ohio. So again, just not seeing a lot, you know, again, looks were a little deceiving. Again, not to say that there weren't good things, but they weren't the things that I personally was looking for. Now, what I did see here hanging in a baggie along the wall, you're going to see them here in just a second, are these Santa doll heads. Um, and the reason that I got these is twofold. Um, I may add one or two to a wreath. But I thought that these would make really cool, like a great crafting project because, you know, I am going to be working with Amy and, um, you know, we got to stop stock up on the good doll supplies when we see them. So I did go ahead and get those. I do see that wreath there. I don't know that I noticed that in real life. That's a shame. I actually have found these in both a plastic and ceramic. Misty has found them in ceramic. They're a great, adorable little figural piece. But at 1850, it just really wasn't where I would want it to be for resale. Up next, I'm going to do a quick little flash of some bisque babies here. They're kind of misc. They're QBs for sure and QB-esque. But I decided to leave those behind. Here we are seeing what is often referred to as a cricket pixie. These are Acme China. They're obviously made in Japan, um, but you can see there like his little tail coat very much is meant to look like a thorax. Check in a few guys.
All right, guys, we are headed down another part of the mall. I have officially lost everybody. <laughs> or I'm lost. I don't know. Um, but uh, we're going to carry on, and I see something absolutely amazing. Is that what this is? Yeah, Jade? Fishbowl? Four ninety five. I this is amazing. I wonder if that is what that is originally for. If it is, that's pretty epic, don't you think? Love it. Alright guys, so I am seeing this ceramic. I believe it's a hobbyist piece, if I'm not mistaken. Um but it's absolutely adorable. it's painted so well, let me get my thumb out of the way I oops it's only $18 let's take the cards out you know you could certainly use it to hold cards which is a really cute clever idea it's not heavy you know there is a little bit of size to it 64 I don't know if it's yeah so it's 64 I just I think he's done so well. You know, again, there's some size, but the weight. Look at the bald head on the back. Um, let's get him, shall we? I think he's adorable. Look at that face. We're gonna get. Oh wait. Uh, I'm not gonna get him. You see it on his mustache. <sighs> That's not the worst, but. If something like this, I really want to sell it in pristine condition. And I know, that's just not, it's not going to do it for me. Dang it. Oh, wow. That was a close one. That was a close one. If I was going to keep it personally, I wouldn't mind. But for resale, I'm going to leave him behind. Dang. Ah, such is life. Ah, uh, what? Is <laughs> it's a lizard baby. Oh God, love him. I mean, he's not had a life. I, 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 I don't know what has. Ooh, ooh. Uh. <laughs> now here is your mid-century realness, folks. This is a great display. I loved the television, the chairs, the the dinnerware we have there, all of the lamps. It was a great look. I definitely wanted to again spot it out. But guys, we're about to wrap it up, so I will see you here in just a little bit. All right, guys, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video for now. And uh, we're about to head down aisle six, I think, and whatever offshoots might be on that. So you're going to have to stay tuned. Um, yeah, hopefully we find some more stuff, more than we found down number three. I don't know. He's confused. So until next time, guys, as always, remember, keep it rusty, crusty and dusty. Bye guys.